Hi. Hi. Are you sure you can prepare for product based companies through this course? Yes, sitting at home. No way. Yes way. Don't delay. Enroll now. Geeks learning together. Hey Geeks, Akshay this side. Welcome to another session of uh, you know it's a webinar on trustless technology. So I pehle ek bar a heads up de dun that uh, this session is going to be a really technical session. बहुत एडवांस ब्लॉकचेन टेक्नोलॉजी की बात होने वाली है सेशन में सो बिकॉज यू आर गीस राइट सो आई वुड से दैट यू शुड सी सच यू नो द फ्यूचर टेक्नोलॉजीज व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन इन द इन द ब्लॉकचेन स्पेस एआई स्पेस एंड सो मेनी मोर थिंग्स व्हिच वी टॉक अबाउट इट्स अ लर्निंग सेशन फॉर मी टू सो स्टे ट्यून टिल द एंड एंड आई विल ट्राई एंड टू कीप एंगेजिंग विद यू गाइस ऑन कमेंट्स सो दैट यू नो यू डोंट It, it's it's going to be too much information to, for you guys today let me promise you that good evening janvi good evening hello em eu all right vedant i am fine too thanks basudev basudev is writing his own name okay hi basudev good evening sir hello ajay hi thank you so much for joining us and uh, i think we can start our session let me give you a brief introduction about the guest who we are inviting his name is james q and uh, he is cto at platon uh and i think uh, he'll be the best person to tell you in detail about what the company do uh, what the company does and uh, what what more insights he has on blockchain and various other technologies which definitely going to change the future for for good so uh good evening kamlesh hi hi everyone great let me invite james and let's start the q and a session and then we'll take up some questions also at the end your questions in the comments all right Hey James how are you Hey hello uh, good you. evening uh, Asia good morning uh, uh, Af- America and America, America, America uh, Europe yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah the people from America definitely join us and uh, yeah India obviously but there are more, more places like uh, Uh, right. Singapore, like Asia, APEC, basically. Right. Yeah. Anyways, so uh, I told, I tried to, you know, tell them a bit about what it is about, but I think I am myself naive in this. So uh, before jumping onto the question, I would love mm. to, you know, uh, tell, uh, give you an opportunity to, so that you can tell about your company, Platon, and yourself yeah. to the yeah. audience, please. Yeah, sure. Uh, so uh, first of all. let me briefly introduce myself uh, my name is james q uh, so i was working in the uh, traditional financial industry uh, mainly was in tokyo uh, so ubs worked it for more than 6 years and then morgan stanley in close to 10 years i uh, was working on uh, electronic trading platform uh, which means in the very beginning we trading stocks using phone calls right we, we call up the dealer and, and buy and sell stocks and later on we go through the machines uh, so you we type in uh, our order and then the machine will, will will buy and sell on behalf of you and nowadays okay. we are using algorithm using ai using robots right the robots will send this uh, orders in uh, on behalf of you you just give general instructions and then they will do it all for you so cool blood very calm uh, so i was in that industry for pretty long nearly 20 years and later on i found out blockchain uh, is the uh, trustless technology we are talking about tonight it's really a uh, innovative uh, brand new technology which could bring a uh, new life uh, to the financial traditional financial industry uh, then i i'm very lucky uh i found platon this uh, project then i joined uh in from the very beginning so platon was founded in uh, 2018 uh, in okay. singapore uh, so there was a white paper published by that time we call it white mm-hmm. paper 1.0 uh, it it describes what platon want to do uh so based on the uh, the background of so we are in a digital era so like we are doing this uh, Uh, this uh, web seminar right so we all like uh, we don't meet face to face we all do things digitally and uh, people mm. log in with your login id yeah. you using your mobile phone mm. you using your mobile phone shopping 
uh, go to somewhere, go to uh, by the navigation, etc. So all the human already digitalized of all your behaviors, your financial uh, behaviors, your your kind of physical behaviors, and all of this became what became data on the internet. And then nowadays, w- what happens is the data collected by major platforms, some enterprise, and they use AI computing or calculating based on all the data we provide them. Okay. And then there is a very clear image of what people is doing, what the trends will be, and the AI algorithm could calculate some signal and guide people to do something. So that's what is happening now. We call it a digital era, right? So mm-hmm. the digital era, data became oil. And Platon, what, what Platon want to do is to, so nowadays the, those oil, we as a pro- provider, we don't benefit anything yet, Sorry. but those oil are really valuable and how to, to make it, to protect it and to make those data be kind of a, their ownership of it and there's a usage of it. And when the data really used it by the AI model become valuable and the profit or the benefit could be divided by a uh, ideal model, uh, which we call it kind of a privacy economy. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so people who contribute what you contributed, you need to earn some incentive. And this very well designed platform will give us a sustainable new digital world, which we can continue organically grow. It will become a new kind of economy. So, so that's, that's why Platon focus on three things, right? So okay. one thing is blockchain. Blockchain, okay. Yeah, so, so why blockchain is blockchain as the uh, uh, settlement clearing infrastructure. For example, you and me, we, we meet, we never met before, or we never met, right? But we can still trade on blockchain. Like if we send transactions through Bitcoin or Ethereum yep. without anyone in the middle, it can be done and it will be done and everything, both sides will trust it. So that's one very uh, okay. uh, good like advantage of uh, blockchain technology. So that's, that's one, one, one pillar Platon is working on. Okay. And the and the second one is with this uh, settlement clearing platform as a blockchain as an infrastructure, on top of it. So what do we trade? What what kind of asset we should exchange with value okay. with profit is the protected data. So privacy protected data is a key. As as we all know, if data not protected as raw data, right? So we know how easy we can. I think this session, all the geeks, so we can type in yeah. copy command, <laughs> right? Copy command or, or FTPs, anything. The data can be easily copied and transferred. Yep. Make millions of copy everywhere. So even you have a very valuable data, you will be very hesitant to provide to anyone. Definitely. Yeah, because it's not yet to be protected. So that is a, another pillar Platon is working on, on the okay. cryptography, how cryptography to basically. Data. Yeah, right. somebody is asking the question in the comment also. Like, is, it, so is it similar to cryptocurrency? So I think cryptocurrency is a part of it, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, I, I think it's quite a, uh, quite a difference. It's a, it's a different dimension. So cryptocurrency okay. is a fundamental uh, native token with the... Uh, uh, basic cryptography algorithm like hash uh, or, or this uh, uh, algorithms. So it's a fundamental one. Uh, what Platon is trying to do, to do is to get the valuable data on top of it, be protected and became a data market. So, so many people have very good data. And when we have a very good AI model, 
So mm. all the data collected together, we can compute and calculate real great result, real valuable result with a single data source. It may yep. equals nothing. So it's kind of cooperation with many data sources. And our objective is to, when we cooperate or intercompute or, or, or kind of collaborate with each other, we want to data source be protected. So, so people who provide the data, raw data will not get leaked. Only the result will be calculated. We call it can MPC, a secure multi-party computation, etc. All of this can are the uh, cryptography related stuff. That's why okay. uh, Proton spends a lot of efforts on supporting the global uh, academy events, uh, yeah, like making professor good friends, advisors, okay. uh, and, yeah. and try to optimize the existing algorithms, try to invent new algorithms. All this try to protect the data. Okay. To make, make the data asset be real asset, can be treatable, okay. not just be copied anywhere. So that's the second one. And the okay. third one is the AI. So AI right. is, is the engine who finally really generates the value, right? But our AI is not the, the original one. It's one is privacy protected AI, we call it a privacy AI. Another dimension is, is the artificial general AI. So artificial have, general AI. Hmm. Okay, that's different. Okay, uh, what's how is it different? Like, yeah. So so how is it different? So right now uh, the the uh, the normal AI we are talking about the AI module uh, etc are held by uh, famous enterprise uh, those like the top tier companies. It's not normal people could reach could use it easily. For example, this. Uh, Deep mind algorithm, can you can you use it? <laughs> so we, we we may not have a touch to this uh, very good algorithm. I think uh, I think uh, the uh, Google and Facebook they try to publish to make this open source somehow to make more people have a uh, uh, even chance to use AI to close the gap between people. So, okay. Uh, so now now we we do see. Uh, people who have real good data resource have AI module can can use etc. The gap between those group of people with the not yet digitalized group of people, the gap is huge, become very huge than before. Okay. Uh, James, your voice is breaking, man. Before his voice is getting set up, uh, I think I can mention that I read all the comments, guys. Kisan Likata koi comments ko bhauni data sa niya guys. I read all the comments and people have joined from Liber Liberia and every Pakistan also, India also. So thank you. Uh I think James had some connectivity issue. He'll be back. Let me let me ask him. Uh, James, can you hear me? Can you please rejoin once? Hi, Vaishnavi. Hi. Hi, Sanchita. Uh, hi, Yogesh. Hi, Ankit. Okay. Guys, please bear with us. I think I need to call James once. Something is. James, uh, yeah, it's fine now. It's much better now, but. Uh, the, oh, really? the, internet, the internet is really slow. I mean, the, the quality is not hmm. really good. That's interesting. Oh, my, uh, now it's fine. Right. Now it's fine. Now it's fine. Okay. Yep. Yeah, I think. Uh, yeah, we were talking. Fine. We were talking. Uh, let me. Let me. Um, it, it's fine now, James. It's fine now. Let's let's continue. Okay. Yeah, let's continue. All good. All good. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Happens. So, uh, happens. Uh, uh, Such things. Yeah. As I, 
So that's as fine. A, as, Oh, so let me let me, let me let me let me reiterate. Like we have talked about two pillars on which Platon is working right now. One is blockchain, obviously. Uh, uh, so one, no, one we have talked about two. Third is going on. So the third one, uh, you please complete once because you were telling a difference about between AI and generic AI. If I'm not wrong. Uh, yeah, yeah. So so for that yeah. one, I, I could quickly uh, skip it. Uh, so, so, so the pillar first is blockchain. Uh, yep. Oh, not again, not again, not again, not again. Wait, 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 James, not again. Why don't you connect to the cable fiber, uh, fiber rather than uh, Wi-Fi? I guess that would solve the problem. I know Sanjay is good now, but it's again bad now. So wait, please, guys, please wait more. I'll ask him to reconnect, guys. I Please bear with me. One second. Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, can you connect the cable cable fi uh, fiber? I think that would be the best thing. Mm -hmm. uh, is that? Now better? Oh, uh, I think so. Uh, I like. Uh, yeah, I think I, I connect, the problem should not sustain. I, I, yeah. Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, I, I hope I the problem is. Uh, yeah, on cable as well as Wi-Fi. So I. No, I think that, out, it'll, so it'll be fine now. It'll be fine now. Yeah. Hmm, please I'm, continue, I'm James. Curious, please. Curious. Yeah, uh, the, 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 the audience, oh, the audience is, James, let me tell you, the audience is really sweet here. So uh, they, they are bearing <laughs> with us. <laughs> All right. uh, you can, uh, you can yeah. continue. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, sorry, guys. Uh, I think it, it, between us, there is uh, some, some file. Uh, uh, so, so yes, yeah, sometime I may need to dial in. Uh, so anyway, so th this is three pillar uh, of, uh, of Plata is working on all like a, uh, state of art technology uh, so that's why i'm i'm very happy to be here to talk with uh, geeks which as a yeah. community geeks. driver expert cool geeks. i really want to talk we are, with no, we are geeks we are geeks but we are cool geeks you know what i mean <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> anyways so uh, james because i know the next seven questions which i'm going to ask you six seven questions they are really technical because you know i had a discussion with you you know what we should talk about because this technology is new this concept is new for me too so my let me ask you the first question because uh, we need trust me we need time for those questions so my first question to you is uh, based on the latest tech paper platon operating on three layers network which are consensus Privacy preserving computation and collaborative AI network. What does the collaborative AI network mean? Yeah, okay. Uh, so the three layer, uh, as I explained it just now, is uh, the blockchain as a fundamental, is the, the base, right? And then the pre privacy preserving computation in the middle, protecting data. And this uh, collaborative AI network, which means when we based on protected data, when we generate a new value based on it, there will be one, uh, a couple of roles, right? One role is the uh, raw data or source data provider who has okay. data. Yeah, for data. Example, yeah, for example, all of our audience here, we all uh, have our kind of a, a DNA data, which is very crucial to everyone. Uh, only if I only have my DNA data, it couldn't do anything. But if we collectively have everyone's DNA data and test against this, uh, for example, coronavirus, vaccine, whatever, then it may could help this vaccine development much fa faster and mo uh, much safer, right? Meanwhile, we need to protect our DNA data. So that's very crucial for us. So this collaborative AI network means in this network, we as data provider provide our raw data with privacy protected. And then the, uh, the AI model, model hmm. provider, they provide AI modeling, which means the algorithms they provide. 
and somebody has a supercomputer, has the uh, computation power, they provide okay. the computation power. So all these different parties, they work together, and the privacy preserving algorithm or platform will protect the raw data from sharing with each other, but only the AI model could know it, okay, okay, could okay, calculate, okay. could compute. Okay, got it. Yeah, and AI model will not be leaked to anyone, cannot be mm. stealed, it, cannot be copied. It. And finally, the result will be calculated and very valuable. The pharmacy uh, factory will pay for it, right? And then based on the mm. blockchain ecosystem, we, did, we did defined it, a, a smart contract, how to distribute this profit uh, fairly to all the contributors without any agent in the middle. So the consensus was decentralized and all agreed it on a blockchain infrastructure. And that one will got automate, automatically set up. <clears throat> so okay. it's kind of a, so, so, yes. so James, if, if I, let me, let me pitch in a bit because somebody is commenting that what's happening here. Can, can somebody please answer, please? Maybe then they want a gist of it. So just wanted, what I understood was that, uh, Definitely, it's about uh, increasing your uh, security. That's a no brainer, right? But the thing is that collaborative AI network means that I think that it's a it's a like a middle network, like basically all the different different areas are coming at one place and the security is uh, tightened over there in a way, like in a layman, very layman language, I'm saying, obviously, I don't know. But if you can answer this question, like, if, hmm. like in a gist of it, like, is it about increasing the privacy? Is it just about that or is it something more than that? I mean, I just want uh, to uh, know yeah. about that. Yeah. I, I, I think uh, it's, it's more than that. Uh, when we talk about okay. privacy, uh, for example, uh, you just mentioned we contribute data to one place. That's one way of corporate, right? Like okay. we, we, we put uh, all the data to one platform and that platform is very secure or whatever, but we have to trust that platform trust that hardware or trust that 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 system uh, owner etc but this uh, collaborative is the uh, distributed and the using for example using secure multi-party computation uh, which means we cutting source data into pieces okay. and encrypt it and those pieces will interact with each other only the okay. algorithm know how to compute so the raw data is still local mm -hmm. so we do not share our crucial data mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. anywhere so only the result will be used. we used to refer this as the data can be used but can never be sold oh, okay uh i understood a bit more to be frank uh <laughs> it's getting us uh, like it's so much new for me. I don't know how the audience is feeling. Please tell in the comments. Like, is it you getting like you? I am getting some part of it. What James is saying, but audience, please be with us because things are gonna get more technical now. Uh, yeah. So so let me give you one example. I think one yeah, example would be, be great. yeah. Definitely. Uh, we uh, we have done a a, a project uh, provide a solution to. A local bank. Uh, mm -hmm. So, what the local bank wants to do is, when there is a enterprise or an individual coming asking for a loan, rather asking for money. So, how can you certify how much money you can learn to this guy or to this enterprise? Mm -hmm. So, this, for example, if it's an individual. Uh, so this individual may have a uh, cash asset in another bank. Mm -hmm. uh, it may have a stock position portfolio in a broker. Yep. It may have insurance, whatever, somewhere. Yep. It may wow. have hidden debts somewhere as well. But this bank cannot ask other financial institutes to share their client information with the bank. Okay. So what what okay. we could help on this case is 
we built up this uh, secure multi-party computation platform. So all those financial institutes, insurance company, uh, brokerage, uh, banks, uh, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, they share data on the secure multi-party computation platform. And the one, the bank we which want to calculate the credit profile for that individual, they raise the request, they pay for it, and without getting in touch or get to know all others' crucial client information, this bank will only got a result. So this individual was for, for example, $1 million loan, and he has enough asset uh, to return all of this. So he has this credit. So that's quite, quite, quite a, uh, uh, interesting. So before they cannot do it, you have to buy uh, this uh, data from black market. So have to uh, have to kind of break the uh, privacy uh, uh, regulation, etc. Uh, but with this a secure multi-party computation platform, it can be done with safeguarding everybody's data. Okay. So that's that's one use case. Okay. Okay. Okay, James. Uh, <clears throat> let me let me ask you another question. It's related to Ethereum. So, uh, considering that that Ethereum has proven to have challenges with scalability, how will that be fixed? Since Platon uses the Ethereum smart contract language Solidity, as you mentioned, for smart contract deployment. So, uh, like like scalability, how do you figure that? Okay. Sure. So. Yeah, so uh, I think scalability is uh, uh, scalability and liveness and the uh, uh, decentralized etc. is is the uh, mm. is the uh, uh, trilemma, right? It's a famous one, FLP uh, or, or CAP. Uh, so so that's a uh, uh, endless challenge uh, for Ethereum, uh, mm. for Platon as well. Uh, so okay. Platon here has its own kind of a solution uh, to improve okay. it uh, by a brand new uh, consensus algorithm. So that consensus one is, uh, I, yeah, I think uh, relatively new. If somebody also people. asked that, how does, a, how does a consensus protocol work? Like if you can tell a bit, I think sure. you can add it here if possible. Yeah. Sure, sure. So uh, so consensus algorithm, uh, uh, so before is, is a kind of uh, in, from the very beginning, from uh, Bitcoin, right? We call it the blockchain uh, 1.0. It was POW, right? So everyone can can join, compete, and the longest chain will will, will be winning. Uh, so whoever got the longest chain will override those shorter, uh, which means make the, all the network in same uh, ledger rec recording same data. Uh, so that one is 1.0. Uh, right now, Ethereum mm -hmm. is on. Uh, same on, on POW, we call it proof of work. Uh, Ethereum is, is doing the London upgrade this week. So they are trying mm -hmm. to, to upgrade to 2.0, which will be POS, we call it proof of stake. Uh, it's kind of a, how to say, uh, today we have, for example, in this room, we have uh, 100 people, right? This is our mm -hmm. universe, right? In, in this our universe, then uh, in, in case of a POW consensus algorithm, so everyone try to record it, try to be the ledger validator. Uh, okay. so if I voice or I earn you $100, then all the people hear it and, uh, and record it. Uh, and then there is another one, the another one, they were adding, adding it up. And, oh. and who, who computed with the harsh number, it said who computed the first one, who got the who got the I'm so sorry, James. I'm so good of that here. Suddenly, it got oh my god, really sorry, chat. Sorry, chat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please continue. You're gonna rat, and you know what? It's in a room for long, and I'm like seeing it okay. And you know how I'm managing it, you don't know, you don't know how I'm managing it, anyways. <laughs> and uh, bear with me if he comes back again. 
Oh, anyway, please uh, carry on. Yeah. yeah, you were saying that if uh, like in a consensus protocol, everyone legislation is everyone. Like if there are hundred people, yeah, something a transaction yeah, yeah, happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, okay. let's assume we are we are on Bitcoin the one point oh, but now uh-huh. let's assume we are in the uh, POS, which means among hundred of us, we vote for ten people as a committee. So these okay. ten people will spend money, buy some token, and then stake the token here. So so I swear I put my money here. I will be the uh, honest validator. So I will record mm. everything in the right way. I am not cheating. So if I found mm. my che- found me cheating, then my money will got some penalty there. We call it a slush, right? So my money, I put here. I'm I'm doing the validator. So 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 now the scalability will be much better because the consensus mm. between much less small small group, and it will be much faster. And also okay. we use this. Uh, uh, there is a very famous one called the Byzantium fault tolerant. This uh, uh, this a uh, consensus algorithm. It it kind of uh, get get renovated in many version. Uh, practical Byzantine for, uh, for tolerance, and then there is a uh, Facebook hot stuff. There are Tentamen, etc., etc. And Platon combine all of this, make it a mo- very efficient one. Uh, we call it discard from uh, the, uh, the the uh, the artist the Ar- Ashimov's novel. Uh, so it's a robust name. So discard okay. consensus algorithm is what Platon okay. is using. It's kind of it's kind of a a uh, pipeline uh, proof of stake. Uh, so uh, I think this one is probably very technical. So if people want to know more, uh, I would strongly suggest you to read through the uh, uh, the paper, uh, how this uh, consensus algorithm uh, doing. Like uh, uh, like the fundamental is presenting to- fault tolerance, right? So kind of uh, if if we have. Uh, 21 of us as the committee uh, doing all of this, then as long as two thirds, which is more than 14 validators agree on one thing, then even though the rest of the seven doesn't agree or try to do something else, mm-hmm. they will got overwritten. Mm. So, so, so it will be a, a as long as there are two thirds of the validators agree on, on something, mm. that will be finalized. So yep. we will all recognize that's a good record. So that's a, that's a very simple one. Now, Demo- on very democratic, I would say. Very, dem- very democratic. Yeah. Very democratic. Yeah. Nice. But it's still, still, there are lots of like, uh, because this uh, consensus uh, algorithm will increase the uh, network traffic heavily, we need to back and forth. Uh, agree on something uh, and verify and do all this kind of finalization, uh, pro- uh, produce block and then a lot of things. So, so this uh, network traffic uh, will impact scalability. Uh, that's why we need to uh, optimize this algorithm. So there is a different type of uh, consensus algorithm uh, right now. Uh, and we are working on one, which is pretty, pretty uh, good. Why I'm, I'm very confident is because we work with the uh, U.S. University. There is a right time verification. Uh, we have them formally verified it, so logically verified it, mathematically proved mm. it. It's safe uh, and keep alive. So, so, so that's the uh, uh, consensus related stuff. I hope it will. Be okay. Helpful. Yes. Uh, definitely. Definitely, it is. So, uh, uh, James, next question is really interesting for me because uh, Platon security. Let's talk about that. Like, how does it manage its security? <laughs> Safety and security are always the most important things, obviously. So, what is the security mechanism of Platon you're using, and why? Okay. So, so what? Uh, one is the uh, uh, Platon can uh, kind of inherent from Ethereum. Uh, I think four years back, we forked from Ethereum, and Ethereum already running so many years, uh, with the hacker, whatever hacking, 
so it's proving a very secure infrastructure globally. And now we can see there are trillion dollars uh, running on top of uh, Ethereum. Uh, so from the DNA, the infrastructure wise is already very secure. And on top of that, we changed it, uh, renovated the kind of this uh, consensus algorithm. And then we have this uh, uh, runtime verification to do, do this theoretically proof. And also we have slowness uh, to do the audit. And okay. then we have a testing framework. So whatever uh, in the blockchain industry already had uh, it's the, it's the accidents, the uh, outages, etc. We simulate it and try to 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 get this stress testing on platform uh, with huge amount of data, etc. So uh, we are quite uh, kind of satisfied with the uh, uh, security mechanism mechanism we have now. Uh, of course, it doesn't mean on the second layer. We used to have the, the blockchain fundamental layer, and then people will build up smart contracts on top of it. So smart contract has its own logic. Like right now in the uh, Ethereum world, there are lots of like a uh, DeFi uh, uh, incident, uh, money got stolen, uh, etc., etc. So for those part, need to be taken care by the application owner not the infrastructure. Okay. Yeah, for example, in, in, in Ethereum, if the DeFi uh, project lost money, it doesn't mean Ethereum is not secure. Okay, okay. Good. Uh, so James, uh, now uh, off-chain computing and on-chain computing are terms uh, which are being used and uh, What's the relationship between them? And if you can tell the difference as well, a bit off chain and on chain. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so the blockchain actually as the, uh, uh, as the kind of uh, settlement clearing all the distributed uh, ledger can you give infrastructure. Me, James, can you uh, give, me, you give me a moment? James, can you give me a moment? Uh, you can, you can uh, just give me a moment. Huh? I'll just sure. open the door. Just... Okay. Yeah, sorry. Please continue. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me. Yeah, we are talking about uh, the specific yeah. relationship between off chain yeah. and on chain computing. Yeah, I, th I think uh, so. So, why? So, if everything happened on chain, it's the most uh, trustworthy ledger. If everything happened on chain, I calculated another validator calculate all the validator calculate the same, and we all agree on the same results. It's mm. perfect. But if everything on chain, it will be very slow. One is on, the on chain, uh, on chain the speed right? will be very slow, and the second okay. one, yeah, because blockchain, the data is just adding on it will not remove any data from blockchain. So the blockchain itself will grow pretty fast. Okay. So for a long run, if we design something, can only run one year and then I need 10 giga uh, hard disk. If after two years, I need a two terabyte uh, hard disk. After five years, I need, for example, I need a house of hard disk then it will not sustainable. Uh, so the off-chain computing, we try to uh, address this one. We make the complicated computation and heavy data off-chain. So we store it on distributed storage system and compute it and have the signature attack with it. We only put the calculated result on-chain together with a verifiable uh, kind of label, uh, which you can verify on-chain. So that's the uh, uh, 
right now, you, you know, the ZK snarks, zero knowledge proof uh, technology, et cetera, et cetera. So we, we, we combine, for example, uh, 10 million transactions in one package. And then with a, with a CEO, with a cryptography CEO, this is the things happen. And on chain, we only verify this uh, cryptography seal. It's true. Then the, the blockchain itself will be pretty lightweight with high throughput, uh, with smaller storage, etc. So it will be more efficient, can be used more broadly. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Since with the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic that imposed a lockdown on us, everybody is at home. So how does this technology, trustless technology, can help us under this situation? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a very uh, kind of real question happening right now. Uh, with this uh, COVID-19, uh, whatever, right, the virus is much kind of uh, old uh, than human, right? They occupy the world much longer than us. Uh, so people cannot physically interact with each other. A lot of things happening online, uh, kind of more digitalized, then how we can trust with, with each other with a lower cost. Only yeah. when the cost is lower, we could do this uh, business, right? So the trustless technology like this uh, uh, blockchain, we don't, not like, uh, we don't need any middleman. But we can still do business, like the privacy computing. So I okay. willing to share my data that I can gen the profit, but you will never get my uh, like a data asset with the uh, privacy AI. With this one, we could cooperate with each other in this digital universe. So without physically see each other, without physically interact with each other, we can still protect what, what we have and still can do business. So that's, I think, the, the uh, I think this is a trend. Even without uh, COVID-19, this is still the trend we are heading to. But with this one, it's kind of pushing us moving faster. Got it. Because we are more and more, you know, dealing with digital these days and we want to do it more moving forward that's for sure as you said and uh, obviously there are so much mm -hmm. sensitive information and uh, there are bulk of information of various companies yeah. and obviously the source you were telling about the data so uh, this thing can definitely definitely has a place there and uh, uh, so many big scams india has you know just because of this <laughs> trust thing with that issue the famous example is that that guy who went to london uh, i forgot the name because because uh, there are really big scams over here in India, related to the finance sector itself. Yeah. The Kingfisher uh, owner, I am forgetting, Vijay Malia. Yeah. So, so some people have done scams in banking sector, I'm saying. I think there, over, over there, yeah. this technology yeah. can really help, <laughs> like security. Yeah. And pay. If, if, if pe rather than giving it to people who you can't trust, if the technology can take part of it, uh, take care of that. I mean, Hence yeah. the name trustless technology, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. So uh, I think financial uh, industry is the most easy one. Uh, trustless technology can play a critical role, can adding value. It's just because financial industry is kind of uh, very well digitalized. And a lot of stuff from mm. the very beginning is born as digital. Uh, so, it's, mm. so, it's, so it's easier to to handle uh, the data formalized it, uh, and the, the data format is pretty good, well-defined it, and the data volume is not that complicated, not that huge. So it's, it's a perfect uh, use case for this trustless te technology. So if we okay. do have a chance, I, I mm -hmm. really want to uh, learn from you. Uh, you mentioned the India banking industry. Yeah, you uh, should. Yeah. Uh, and Nirav Modi also, you should actually, you know, search this camp. Maybe you get a, you get a more mm. pride in yeah. what you're doing because it's really, I think it's needed because many, many money has been, you know, burnt, like, you know, yeah. lost due to yeah. greed of certain 
anyways uh, that's a different story altogether anyways so uh, my last question to you uh, then we can move on to the comments my last question to you is how do we build scalable dapps on blockchain or your network and also for the hmm. people who don't so, know about uh, dapps please yeah. know about dapps also yeah so uh, the, what dapps mean is the distributed applications uh, so, so we we used to build uh, applications on the traditional platform so which is not on blockchain which is not distributed so once you build a, a blockchain it will be naturally distributed and so like a solid you use solidity uh, build your smart contract uh, with this uh, uh, with this uh, logic so who or who how much in uh, when the uh, mature date who should return how much to who right if you write this into your smart contract in solidity and publish on to blockchain it will got published it to all the validators globally and uh, as i mentioned the, this elected validators will have a copy of this uh, logic and this logic will run when the things mature automatically so when there's an uh, external event driven or, or, or there is a timer driven it will execute automatically and with all the same results that's the consensus means so so, so here the uh, scalable more applied to how the blockchain infrastructure scalable or not so the key will be is this a consensus algorithm efficient? Can support more efficient transaction? Can support more faster smart contract execution? Okay. So, so, so that will be the key. Another one will be you design your the the, the D apps with with the uh, distributed consensus logic in mind. So, for example, if if I if I just want to design a random number, right? So, when we run this random function, because we are all geeks, we know this uh, in which language, whatever language we have, the random function, right? If this random function run by hundred nodes, and it got, it of course it got different number results. That's what random means. And then how you make consensus with with each other? Then the logic will be broken. So, uh, so need to be uh, aware of this uh, uh, coding. There will be some special uh, technique, some design when you try to reach uh, agreement with in a distributed network and a state unstable network. So everything is on internet. The connection, like today, right? My connection may be not very stable. Uh, your connection may be very not very stable. So in a kind of in a in a rainforest, there are there are uh, animals. There are there, there, there are a lot of things may happen in this environment. Your application can still sustainable, can still alive, can still make consensus at the end. So the logic wise need to be simple the data wise need to be lightweighted then it will be scalable so that's also back to the previous question why we try to make on chain off chain right computation but after said that the privacy preserving technology is making things complicated so when we do things like normally i share with you raw data straightforward it's easy the computation will be pretty fast. But if I want to privacy preserving, you may need 100 steps to, to, to recalculate, communicate, etc. It will be more, more complicated. So it's contradicted with this scalability. So okay. when we use privacy computation in the on top of blockchain, we really need to mm -hmm. consider how and how to make it efficient. So which part on chain which part of chain and which algorithm we should pick up okay uh, james uh, why don't we you know pick up some questions now sure so uh, you can go through the comments and you yeah. can tell me yeah. in particular which question you want to talk about i'll so, put it in the banner 
Shall we bottom up or top down? <laughs> uh, yeah, the fresh one here, I can see. Uh, the Which last one? one is there? Uh, is there any see. estimated time to see taps or the apps start rolling up on Platon? And also, will there be will there be user will they be user user friendly or needs to be blockchain oriented before use? Do you, do you want to take up this question? Uh, this question, let me see. Uh, estimated time to day of starting roll. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let, let me let me pick, pick up this one. It's okay, let's take one. a Otemar's question and uh, yeah, please. Yeah. Uh, uh, sure. Uh, there will be a quite a, a very soon. Uh, you will see D apps uh, rolling on Platon. One one reason is uh, in the very beginning, Platon was designed for security. Uh, our address. The uh, uh, wallet address, etc., is slightly different from Ethereum. Uh, you see the different result, uh, different address. Then you send money to or, or receive money. You won't make a mistake. That's for the security consideration in the very beginning. Uh, but because the algorithm different, it's hard to hard for people who already have a pretty good ecosystem running on Ethereum to migrate them onto Platon. So now blockchain industry, the most leader, the most leading uh, uh, one is Ethereum. So now we will adjust Platon to compatible with Ethereum. That will open the door for all existing Ethereum dApps. So this one will come in this year, uh, will open the door and there will, you will see flood of the apps starts rolling up so, so, so that's for the first part and the second part uh, uh they will be user friendly or need one to be blockchain oriented before use uh, this one will be uh, user friendly so i'm asking uh, the uh, core team as well as community developers to make up the uh, quick demo short sample video and a step-by-step -step guidance so people will, will be easy to to get in touch uh, with the Platon development, especially it, for uh, especially for, for 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 the uh, like privacy preserving algorithm. Uh, how to use it? It's quite a, a new and complicated. Uh, we will try to wrap it up. Uh, so like the uh, there is a Rosetta uh, framework we developed it and open source there. Uh, so. You just adding a few lines, and then and then your AI model will become a privacy preserving AI model. We'll try to reach the same level. Yeah. Th thanks for the question. Yeah, I'll pick okay. up the next one. Okay. Next. Next question, James. Uh, there are many. High so let me uh, moving up. Yeah, uh, we already got it. Yeah. Oh. Uh, let me move on how it can be. Uh, there is one how it can ensure protection of our personal information and, and avoid oh, data breaches. Uh, yeah, th this is the, uh, because this is the Platon's objective. We want to do this uh, and already doing for many years. Uh, so this ensure, I will, I will say, in our uh, words, we will emphasize verifiable, everything verifiable. So when people telling you your data is protected, you have you must ask how to verify. So in Platon uh, ecosystem, we provide this uh, privacy preserving algorithm, SDK, API, etc. It's, it's all kind of some mathematically proven working uh, algorithm, and even you dig into the uh, process log, for example, I think uh, there are many IT experts here, you dig into the log and uh, tracing the log or snap the uh, socket uh, communication, get all the uh, internet communication, raw data, and dump it there, you will find the raw data really got protected. You could not find any clue. It's all kept encrypted, mm -hmm. etc. And, and those encrypted private key is not uh, somebody's private key. It's the platform 
generates an in instant private key, it will disappear afterwards. So that's the uh, mathematically proven uh, uh, data protection. So, so that's, uh, okay. that's also one of my like, uh, advice. When people, for example, if there's a hardware calling, we are TEE, uh, your data can, can, uh, can dump in and we, uh, we will protect your data. Better to prove it, to verify it uh, in advance. Okay. Uh, James, last question, please, uh, because okay. we, have, we are reaching yeah. one hour. Yeah. Sure. Uh, 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 this one, let me pick up uh, uh, if there is a, or maybe, uh, can you pick up one? I, uh, okay. I, 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 okay. Yeah, the last one, I'll last one, your, your option. La okay. <laughs> okay, last one is mine. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> okay. Uh, see, uh, I think we should talk about it because it's really close to uh, the uh the people watching us are our students yeah uh, which field of technology is trending or advice for working professionals so for people who are currently you know in uh, jobs as in software engineers they have software engineers at big companies like amazon google people watching us are aspiring to go there you know they, they this is their uh, aspiration so uh, how can they see this uh, technology as a as a as a potential uh, how, in their future career maybe yeah. so any advice in that context to working professionals watching us and yeah. maybe student aiming for placement and the okay. trending part also like, which is which technology is trending or has a more future more more future uh -huh. so in that sense oh okay. so uh, i i think my answer for this one is uh uh, technology. Uh, I, w I was a developer in, in the in the very past, <laughs> many years back. Technology itself uh, won't change that much. Uh, it will keep growing. But nowadays, more and more technology became a superpower. It's changing our daily life. It's become more powerful than before. Uh, so everyone should consider technology plus how the technology will be governed and marry with economy. So there is a, a brand new uh, consideration, we call it DAO, is the uh, Decentralized Autonomy uh, Organization. So D, okay. these, these type of uh, uh, organization based technology will be the future. So in the very past, we saw the huge company like uh, uh, like, like IBM or uh, or, or this uh, Ford, Ford like uh, cars, etc. Right. So the traditional traditional company, and recently we saw more and more innovative, uh, smaller, aggressive companies. And recently, you saw Facebook uh, talking the uh, meta metaverse, right? Uh, so so people will have physical one face. So I'm looking like this is one physical human. But in the digital world, I may have a hundred faces, hundred ID doing hundred different different works. So people with technology capability will be more independent, can contribute to what you want, what you think is right. This this DAO style of technology organizations will be the new future so organic okay. growth so so but uh, i just want to connect the dots like my question is obviously in your starting of the career you you know you must have been a developer you know doing things and being mm. passionate about it yeah. so how our students can actually okay say or uh, think that let's uh, let me do uh, something about blockchain or i'll study ai like how how should they like think like should they think okay this thing is in ai for them is it a career in ai or is it a separate or do a separate segment of the, this this whole thing i mean how how what's the path yeah so, so for, for, like, for what's this the one, path actually. to reach there where you are right now i mean that's the question <laughs> simple uh, sorry can you repeat What's a part? Like I, when, I, no, no. Actually, uh, when you when you must have started, right? You, it's it, it is a journey, right? 
you reached mm. here doing many things in your career in terms of development and finally in blockchain and that too so advanced and a CTO mm. level. So how are students who are right now 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 years of old age and they're in the college, you know, for them, mm. it's like what happened? So that's the reason 16 people are alive mm. because I can understand. Yeah. So, how can they see, you know, their thing? Okay, maybe they have a future in AI or they can explore it. Or AI, should they start with AI? Maybe. You know, yeah. Uh, okay? yeah. Yeah, for that part, I do believe uh, you should uh, dig into those technology dealing with data. Uh, so AI is, act, is of course, is, is, is one of the top. So it's okay. dealing with data. And also, you need to have a fundamental kind of uh, knowledge of mathematics. So the mathematics tech, uh, knowledge is kind of uh, for sure you can use it anywhere. Uh, I think in different different time uh, for technology require different scale. So, for example, for people like uh, us, we quite old, right? By that time, we build the infrastructure from scratch. So we, we did have this uh, chance to design and have the failure for the distributed mm. technology, et cetera, et cetera. But now uh, students may not have the chance. There is a, a lot of things already ready there. Already so like, yeah. yeah, like uh, we go to the supermarket, you, don't, you, you no longer have, have, a, uh, have mm. uh, like the fish, et cetera. It's already sliced yeah. the fish over, already there. So well done. Got it. Uh, so, which as means- you were saying, as you were saying, James, that you are creating a library. I, I'm using maybe using a wrong term, but in that sense, what we can understand that where you can, you know, implement few security things you are creating in Platon. You said right. So what, that's what you're saying. If somebody will come in future to this field, many things would be there, and he can use it. Right now, you are actually creating it, right? Yeah. Uh, or maybe created it when mm-hmm. when it started. So I think you're saying that, right? If I'm not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so it, that's, that's why uh, I will encourage uh, students to uh, to take a part into this DAO organization or open source. So open source has a very good uh, advantages. You could see what people have done before. You could learn from mm-hmm. uh, uh, learn from them and standing on their shoulders and do a better work than them. And I would suggest students to contribute a little bit, or first of all, kind of register the GitHub ID, whatever, right? Be there and then contribute to those famous open source projects little by little. Then you will have a pretty good tracking record on your capability. So if you have a contribute to Linux core, for example, it will be very uh-huh. good proof when you join Google or submit your resume to, now, to Amazon. Now we are talking. Now we are talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I was I was waiting to listen. Okay, okay, now that that's the yeah. yeah. So 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 for the for this part, I, I, I used to in the uh, in, in in Morgan or UBS, I used to in, heavily involve in the interviews uh, with. Yeah, for example, I just share with you, uh, actually, there are four to five rounds of interviews, right? One is the paper written one uh, to, mm. to kind of uh, test you uh, logic thinking uh, and, mm. uh, and the boundaries, right? When there is a task, uh, how do you think uh, a lot of scenarios uh, ro- very well, well-rounded, how you design your, uh, your task? So that's one. Mm. Uh, another one will mm. be talking, right? Challenging. So some expert will challenging you with the code you written. Uh, Sometime it will challenge you. There is a bug. If there is a bug. Then you you have to agree, right? To to how to verify how you communicate. And then there might be not a bug. They they will they will push. This is a bug to test your uh, attitude under pressure, etc. So there is a. A uh, different dimension will, will, will kind of uh, bombarding you to to testing your uh, your personality, your characteristic, etc. That you you need to be very like a calm. <laughs> that's <laughs> something that's I, why, 
Yeah, that's why I, I Yeah, I, please I, I, continue. You know, and I I'm listening you very like with full attention. You know, I'm listening you and I'm I you know I'm, my mind is uh, giving me more inputs and right. you know mainly yeah. yeah, please please yeah, come on. Please come on. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. Please. Okay. Yeah, so that's that's also why I'm asking you guys to to learn like mathematics, get the logic right. If you can debate and and get win over the managers who certify you, that's a that's that's a good and then there will be a kind of a group exercising uh, when people getting together uh, working on something and in the middle mm. they will suddenly change the direction when you almost done a certain task they will ask you sorry you are assigned a different task and then test you your attitude and how you supporting the group and how you contribute to the group etc etc so people will watching you and the monitoring oh this guy is strong at this point at that point etc etc that's and true then, yeah then the, at, the, at the very end there will be a senior manager talking to you just a person right in person uh, to kind of find you you are a nice guy or whatever uh, do not have a string like strange or whatever American. right right yeah. so after this uh, <laughs> four or five rounds of uh, uh, interview you have a very full kind of a stack tracking record, uh, your behavior, yeah. your knowledge, your, uh, your, your duty, your attitude. So everything will, will got recorded there. And then when there is a position, that will be yours. But I do suggest uh, students go to the big firms uh, to uh, do some challenging work there. Uh, there will that will be a very good chance to learn, uh, to cooperate with people, to communicate with people. Some some softer skill, uh, hard skill. Right? Hard skill is your technical skill, and there will be a lot of softer skill you need to learn how to deal with people. Okay. So that's uh, uh, I want to share with you. Great, great, James. Thank you. And uh, <clears throat> let me tell you this uh, on record that. Uh, Maybe in future, I, I'll read myself about Tesla technology in coming weeks. Let me let me figure it out because it it uh, generated some curiosity in me, to be frank. So uh, I'll read it if uh, if I think that our students should also know something. So maybe I'll uh, try and invite you again sometime, and we'll uh, in a more layman language. Maybe we'll take a few more things about trustless technology. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> uh, Let's see. I mean, it's just. Yeah, let's uh, see. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Uh, let's see. I, I'm really looking forward for for young, like a uh, energy full, uh, yeah. a powerful students to join this uh, new technology area. It's brand new, so no nobody has many many career, no experience, or open source. So it's pretty fair. So uh, it's a pretty good like uh, field for young people to show yourself yeah i think i think uh see james many people you know try to get things which are you know safe and everyone is doing but there are few people who actually you know wanna who are really really passionate about the technology part of it you know like mm. pe like you are you really want to dig in deep and you know i think if somebody is watching this like if the, that mindset i think he should connect with you on linkedin maybe your your profile yeah. your linkedin profile yeah, is sure. in the youtube description yep. as well so uh, maybe it can help you know uh, yeah yeah i will be very happy yeah all right <clears throat> great james uh, thank you so much for joining us i know we had some technical issues on our part and uh, we this thing has been going for 3 weeks but we finally did it but i think it went well uh, i hope you enjoyed too right uh, having a conversation Sorry yeah, about the rat you. in the between. See, see, few things are not in my hands. That <laughs> rat which is not yeah. in my hand. The internet which went away is not in my hand. Yeah, yeah that's it. I think but, that's it. There's a real world, which is fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Now the com the connection is pretty stable. So I, I I'm sorry for the uh, for the uh, unstable period in the in, in the very beginning. Yeah. So so thank you very much. Uh, hope hope to see. My pleasure, you. James. Yeah. I, I, I wish you I wish you uh, Platon good luck and I really wish that uh, it really solves big problems in India because see India is a country with a huge population and huge issues yeah. so if something can be done over here because like yeah. 
big chunk of population is here i think that mm-hmm. would be really great uh, that's yeah, an appeal yeah, for yeah, me that's an appeal yeah, from looking, an indian you know? yeah looking for, for, <laughs> looking for. okay yeah. okay yeah I, I, one last comment i think uh, yashu uh, sharma is asking uh, sir which te- field of technology is trending and she uh, has been uh, you know like uh, asking again and again if you can address this yeah. last question to us please field of technology is trending i think trending means what's like the in thing right now in terms of technology like any any views on this uh uh sure the technology is trending uh because yes. i'm recently focusing on blockchain uh and ai purely so <laughs> <laughs> but that is trending but i think blockchain and ai they are trending pieces right if i'm not yeah. wrong yeah yeah uh, they are growing at a very high rate if if you should that answers your question i don't know yeah so uh, i hmm blockchain um, yeah uh, actually if if uh, uh, uh yes you could uh, like uh, connect me on linkedin yeah, yeah we could yeah. Uh, yeah we could we could can talk yeah, a let's, lot let's let's uh, do that i i, I think yeah, uh, you should please uh, go to the i tell her i tell her, go to the youtube description and there's a link just yeah. uh, click uh, on that link and go to the linkedin profile and you can connect with james and i think that would be great all right james thank you so much for joining us and uh, i hope situation is fine over there um, you're in china right now and i hope yeah. you know, things are fine you're staying at home and everything is fine over there right yeah thank you uh, very much you. yeah, yeah. Uh, take yeah, care man take care much. my pleasure meeting you thank you yeah my pleasure thank you Thank you. You can goodbye. You can bid the goodbye to the audience if you want to. Like. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Good, uh, yeah goodbye. Actually, I really want to uh, have you have this your young man, super powerful Superman join join with me. We can talk and we can share. Uh, and and there are brands actually, so we can earn some income by by learning by doing something. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, James. <laughs> bye, man. Take care. Take yeah. Care. Yeah. Bye. 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 Yeah, thank you. Bye. All right. All right guys, thank you so much for staying tuned till the end and I know it was really heavy. Just tell me in the comment what the session heavy for you guys or no? Yes or no? Some yes or no I want. Karthik, please. Have you joined right now only? If not, Yashu, you tell me. Many people Ank- Ankit Ankit was there. Ankur, Tejas, Pooja, anyone tell me. Was the session heavy guys? Oh yeah i'm asking is the session heavy like was it too technical for you guys or like aim yeah <clears throat> okay thanks a bunch or to my like no it was nice oh rajesh really like oh people liked yeah but not many people joined because you know um, it's it's really niche right so not many people joined but okay anyways uh let me tell you about something a scholarship test so let me put a banner wo meko screen share hi karni hai just to see i need your attention for two more minutes please uh just to see okay so this is it mm let Guys, this is the link I am putting in the banner. Uh, it's a first step towards TSA course, which is particularly for kids who are uh, uh, who are uh, in the school right now. And uh, it's a scholarship test contest, uh, which uh, you know uh, there's a course first step to TSA school scholarship. मिलेगा आपको उसमें. The link, uh, the clickable link, I'll put it updated in the description if it's not there. बट स्टिल अभी मैं बैनर में डाल रहा हूँ बता रहा हूँ किस देख मैं लेट मी लेट मी अगेन ओके इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन चेक इट आउट स्कॉलरशिप टेस्ट का लिंक आपको मिल जाएगा प्लीज चेक आउट करना गाइस उसको एनी uh, तुम उनको जानते हो जो स्कूल में है कोई और लोग हैं बता सकते हो आप उनको ठीक है ना सो so, उनके लिए फायदा होगा हाई अनमोल like the last part point is st ha yeah 
akshay job uh, you'll get a job man you keep trying uh, this uh, keep upgrading your skills i mean but don't just get, get disheartened please because uh, placement hai ho jayegi yaar anyways okay bye take care guys get vaccinated and uh, be at home cases kam hai matlab ye nahi hai ki endemic ja chuka hai hum bhag ghar pe baithe hain isliye fir se nahi aa raha hai to ghar hi baitho take care guys bye